Hello everybody, here to buy more, so welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies and No Death Run. In the last episode, we polished off the backyard and the all-out attack that scared the crap out of me, but we did it on the first try! And in this part, we're on the roof. So, this is during the day. So, you don't get to use any of your shrooms, which sucks, but at the same time, you get a lot of nice plants. Like now you get cabbage pulse. Uh, you're not gonna need a lot this wave, because this isn't gonna be too hard. Considering something. As you'll probably guess, this isn't ground. How are we gonna plant plants on this roof? You'll see. Uh, so, for now, use cabbage pulse, and I'm gonna use, um, I, I don't know, chomper? Yeah. Uh, tall nuts, jalapeno, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use kamikaze plants, because basically the only thing that's gonna work is cabbage pulse. For, for this wave. So, yes. You don't, don't get any shooters, because they're not gonna do anything. I promise. Um, and pumpkin, because why not? So, yeah, this is all I'm getting for right now. You get these pots. Also, my favorite song, one of my favorite songs in this game. I love the roof theme. It's so, so head boppingly jazzy. Da -da 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 -da. Get it, go, get it, great. Hurry up and don't be late. Hurry up and don't be late. Cause you're gonna be your brains. Oh no. I like this song. Uh, okay, set that up right there. Also, uh, I was wrong. I, uh, for some reason, I only thought you were gonna have three rows of these things, because eventually you're gonna. Uh, eventually you're gonna have to place your own pots, which is crazy. So, uh, if you put that there, again, immediately when they run into it, they'll die, so that's cool. Um, uh, also, uh, we've already got this stuff set up. The, uh, you, I think you get more sun on the roof levels, too, uh, to balance it out, which is pretty cool. I'm not exactly sure if that's true, but it seems pretty good. Also, Cabbage Pulse, if you'll notice, um, it's hit three times and his arms off. They do double damage to pea shooters, which is awesome. I used to think, wait, well, how are these of any use to you then? But yeah, they do double damage, which is awesome. Uh, you're going to get a couple better plants later, but for now, Cabbage Pulse is pretty good. Like, uh, you're gonna have to rely on some RNG later with a certain plant. People know what I'm talking about immediately. But, uh, it's- I think it's one of the er earlier plants you get, so it's not gonna be that long before we see it. So, it's pretty cool. Uh, more sunflowers, cause why not? Uh, this guy. And get squashed. Uh, another cabbage bolt. Then we'll get enough sun for this, so why not? I love the song. I'm, I'm just listening to it. I, I can't help it. I was like, do I have to commentate? I really just want to listen to the song. <laughs> da, 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 na, 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 na. It's such a good song. Um, my favorite song in the game is um, the Endgame song, which you guys probably know. Um, but Oh, and this, for now, get rid of both of these things, because I'm not letting this guy take them away. So, uh, whenever those yeehaw zombies come down from this sky, I need to get rid of the plant that's there. So, I have to be aware of that every time, because if they do get swept away, I count that as a kill. So, I gotta be careful. He will take your pot if there's no, no guy there, so be prepared for that. Uh, that's dead, that's cool. Uh, this guy's gonna die quick. Uh, you will eventually get defenses against, uh, the bungee jump zombies, so that's good. And also, you will eventually get pots, so that's double good. So, the more cabbage bolts you have, the better off you're gonna be. Uh, you kill things. You can kill the, uh, bungee zombies before they land, uh, before they, uh, grab something, but it's really, really hard. You need, like, a lot of plants ready in order to kill it and it's basically out of your control whether or not that happens. Also, immediately I'm gonna keep setting up cabbage bolts. You want as many as you can get, because as you'll see in a second, I'm getting my shovel ready, hold on. Ugh. See ya. You're not taking them. But these guys will drop them right down onto you. The bungee zombies on top of the house will drop them right down on top of me, which sucks. It's it's horrible. Also, I didn't mean to put the squash there. I actually did mean to put them there, but I screwed it up. And also, we're done. And we got the pot. Which is, you know, exactly what it looks like. It's the same thing we got earlier. <laughs> Let you plant on the roof. 
<laughs> hey, neighbor, got some new items for sale. Let's see what they are. Oh, roof cleaners. Uh, again, don't need that. Uh, don't need any of the upgrades. I'm still aiming for the slot. Uh, I'll, I'll show you guys more upgrades as we move along later. Uh, and also, here's more upgrades. Plant these on your magnet rooms and told them they're gold magnets. Gold magnets can collect coins and diamonds for you, so you don't have to click on them. This is a lazy plant. Don't get it. It, it basically is there for, like, farming coins, which is good, admittedly. You don't need it for this run specifically, is what I mean. So, it's whatever for right now. Uh, you still don't have a defense against these guys yet, so you have to be prepared for them. Um, now you need more cabbage bolts. And again, if you have stuff on the top, then you're fine. Tall nuts, I'm gonna save for these guys. And, uh... Uh, if they're in the way, I need the chomper. Because choppers can get the bungee zombies if you place one right behind. If somebody gets bit, like, to say, a tall nut, he goes for the tall nut. I'll put the chomper behind the tall nut, and he'll eat the bungee zombie. So that's cool. It's a nice little plant. Um, uh, cheese jalapeno. Uh, does this look good? Yeah, yeah, it does. This, this is a good enough setup. Alright, more of these. Start setting up some sunflowers, dude. Da, da, da. Okay, I gotta stop. I, I'm about to keep singing along with the song because it is insane. I might do an entire episode where I just sing. Because, oh my god. Good song, I love it. Uh, data mine, set up another sunflower. I put it in the wrong spot. Great. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Well, at least for whatever's there, I can set up something. Sunflower. I'm gonna get two more sun anyway for a squash, so I don't really care. Whatever. Yeah, squash, sunflower. Boom. Easy. So hopefully who's ever coming comes down this line. Here's hoping. And I win. <laughs> I'm better than you, dude. Mm, get destroyed. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing can get too far, so it doesn't even matter if the cabbage bolts are ahead. They can see no matter what, which is great, honestly. Super great. Um, be prepared for other stuff. I should probably save Chompers in case of that rare situation where he goes after the tall nut that already got bit. Mm, I think it's probably gonna happen, like, more than once, so I gotta be prepared for that scenario. Because if they do take a plant, I'll be upset. <laughs> if I can't take the plant myself, then I'll be super upset. Uh, let's put the pot here. Uh, put the tall nut there. Um, just keep setting up tall nuts. Uh, he didn't get bit, which is good. Which is a radical, dude. Radical, dude. Uh, potato mine and squash take care of those guys simultaneously. Easy as pie. Easy as pie. So, um, those two are gonna get taken care of, which means I can put a cabbage bolt right here. Uh, be prepared for the next wave. Uh, I need to be on the lookout for the bungee zombies so they don't take my plants. Uh, this is gonna be, like, a lot of the biggest area where I'm going to... Um, probably not set things up in the most orderly fashion, considering how these things work. Also, this guy already got bit, so I'm gonna have to try my plan soon. I mean, later. <laughs> not soon. Just, just whenever I can. Come on, die, dude. There you go. Okay. So, uh, now I can start setting up power plots up here. I'll put a squash there. Cause, why not? Easier kill. Uh, more cabbage bolts. Uh, okay, I gotta be on the lookout for harder to kill zombies, too. Uh, once this next wave comes, I think during every wave, bungee zombies drop stuff. So you gotta be prepared for it every time, which is crazy. Ugh. Flipping bungee zombies. I just need, I need to make sure I have enough sun to place a 25 pot power plot and a chomper at the same time. So I need to set things up. I need to get sun. You have to be prepared for everything up here. Man, if I didn't mention how much I love this game, it's super good. Super well balanced, a lot of fun plants. Just nothing really bad I can say. No nothing much bad I can say about it, really. Like I'd have to fuck, I'd have to reach to say bad things about this game. All right, cool, that guy's getting hit like it's no tomorrow, so it's no big deal. Okay. I don't set up choppers yet. I will soon. Uh, tall not go there. Uh, these two have gotten bits. I don't know if the last one's gotten bit, but I gotta prepare for that. 
just in case. Hopefully they don't try to steal the tall nuts. Alright, cool. Bye-bye. <laughs> nice try, stupid. Okay, more of these cabbage bolts. Uh, I need to set up more pots as I get them. Uh, flower pot, sunflower, right there again. Haha. <laughs> I beat you. I beat you, buddy. You got beat. You got destroyed, nerd. All right. Y'all can't beat my tall nut defense. It's too good. And I got all these boys. All these cabbage bolt boys. Oh, yeah. Vault over this, stupid. Oh, get screwed. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty happy about this defense already. This is going pretty well. Um, buckethead zombie can't take care of those with the magnet streams anymore. What? Well, whatever. Come see, come saw. All right. Hopefully the bungee zombies don't place them in front of these guys, or they're going to be upset. <laughs> uh, it'll be fine, I think. Whatever they throw at us, I'll be prepared for. I think. Uh. Screw this guy. I don't even care. Uh, there we go. Put a flower there. Now we got enough sun to work around anything, I think. Here's hoping. I'm not gonna jinx myself. Alright. Uh, looks good so far. I don't know if the chompers will kill a z A, uh... Actually, I'm not sure if the chompers will kill a, uh, bungee zombie that's placed right above them. Hmm. Same with the squash. I actually am not sure about those things. I've never tried. Um, the answer is probably yes. This game's designed pretty well around those kind of things. Also, these guys haven't taken any visible damage, which is awesome. Which is moi, moi, moi. Kissing my hand. Uh, cabbage bolt there. Also, dang. Jalapeno, I swear I used like forever ago. Its recharge is enormous. Uh, cabbage bolt's pretty easy on recharge. Just keep using them. Uh, nothing too, nothing too scary is coming up anyway. So having these ready is probably more beneficial to me. Um, this guy's gonna get nailed with cabbage. Now, now I think that one's gonna take the necessary damage where it's gonna sh start showing. Never mind. I think every tall nut in the front's taking damage so far, so I gotta be careful. Also, I'm glad I picked tall nuts for this. In hi in hindsight, it's like super good. Okay, so. I gotta be prepared with the shovel. I'm ready. Okay. See ya. I accidentally removed two. Oops. Not only one. Awesome, dude. That's sick. Which one I could just throw down chompers? NBD. The chompers gonna eat that guy no problem. Also, fuck this third row. Jalapeno. Also, um, OCD. OCD. <laughs> Yeah! Perfectly symmetrical. And what do I get? The RNG zombie. The RNG zombie. The RNG plant that I was talking about. But it's good to have. The kernel pulse. Flings corn kernels and butter at the zombies. So, uh, you'll fling a corn kernel every. You'll fling a corn kernel most of the time. But other times, he'll throw butter, which stops zombies in their tracks like a freeze zombie. Which is super good against ladder zombie. Ladder Zombie sucks! He has a pencil through his head! I hate this guy. He's a jerk. Ladder Zombie can be killed by the Chomper. Chomper is the is the enemy to the Ladder Zombie. So you want Chompers for him. Uh, the, the Ladder does block for him. And Ladders invalidate Tall Nuts. They will immediately go over them, which is disgusting. I hate it. So, also Squash will kill them too. Uh... I don't think you can go over a potato mine. So again, having these things is pretty helpful. Uh, all these things and a... Uh, I want to say pumpkin for the, for the defense of the tall nuts. Let's... Yeah, let's do it. Uh, I, I'm going to say pumpkin. Uh, anything else? No, it looks like I have the things necessary things I need. Uh, also, now... Now we're into the point where you're only gonna start with these 15 pots. I forgot during the first wave, you start with the 25 and the 20, but you only get the 15 for the, re for the remainder of the game. 
I mean, not the game, but for the remainder of the roof. So if you're confident in not needing the pots, then you can try them without it. But I would advise against it. Because having more firepower in a situation where every zombie imaginable that you've seen so far and more zombies that you haven't seen yet are coming towards you, it's probably better to have more pots. Definitely. Also, um, as soon as these get set up, I'm going to start setting up my kernel pult. Because kernel pults are fun. Uh, I, I like them a lot. I uh, used to think Kernel Pulse just invalidated the Cabbage Bolt and they didn't do two damage until I realized that the Cabbage Bolts were doing a ton more damage. Uh, use this guy. He's going to end up killing him. No problem. Also, the Butter, I think, does two damage. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I'm going to make sure. Uh, there's, there's three. If that was four... Yeah! It does two damage. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... And if it hits again and kills him, then the butter... Yep, the butter does two damage. Which is awesome. So you can see the butter completely slows down them. And it's really helpful overall. It only happens sometimes, but it happens enough that... Um, you probably want to use a couple kernel pulse. Also, I, um... For the longest time, I thought these green things were their eyes. And this was, like, nose holes. But th those are their eyebrows and those are their eyes. I, I don't know why I thought that. It's a little weird in hindsight, but it's whatever. <laughs> uh, I don't think this guy's gonna die, so just in case, I'll put a pot there and then I'll put a squash. But if if it does end up, if he does end up stopping him enough, then I'm I'll leave him there. Uh, he's still fl only fleeing in kernels. Uh, yeah, here goes the squash. <laughs> see ya. Uh, more kernel bolts, because you're gonna see more as we go on. Uh, also, you can just continue to put them throughout the the middles here, because it, the more you have, the better a chance you're gonna get to get somebody with butter, and you'll just immediately keep this guy in place for, like, the ba for like the rest of it, and he'll take tons of damage. Because the butter does, uh, double damage, it's, like, super duper helpful to have more than one girdle pull at a time. And also, it just keeps stacking if you keep getting lucky and getting the butter instead. So... That's awesome. More butter, more dead zombies. Check this out. This is insane. I'm really happy about these guys. A really smart decision. I mean, a really uh, cute and <laughs> and a uh, really nice plant. I I'm happy for them. All right. Uh, you're gonna get a defense against another plant later. Uh, you, uh, uh, this guy is just a big like. I, I want to say horticulturalist. Uh. I don't want to say agriculturalist, because that sounds, like, too easy. I think horticulture is the study of new plants. I don't remember. I might be mistaking it. <laughs> I'll figure that out later. Um, but yeah, you can see just how much these guys are doing. Sometimes double damage. You get always double damage with the cap cabbage bolt, but having this much consistency is pretty damn helpful. Um, also, I'm gonna end up placing more pumpkins over them, which is... which is good. Uh... I think this line is all we need until, like, stuff starts falling from the sky, which is awesome. And also, there's two all-out attacks. That's fine. It's no big deal. Uh, stuff here. Uh, put you there. Ladder zombie will come soon. I gotta be prepared for it. If he takes anything here, I'm gonna be upset because I have to get rid of three things. Alright. Uh, I don't see him. I don't see the cat- the, um, catapult the bungee jump zombie yet. He'll be coming. You know damn well he's going to be coming soon. Alright. But the more butter, the better. <laughs> That's what I always say. Alright. Oh, God. I'm still thinking about this song. Alright. There's the ladder zombie. More kernel pulse down this road just to take care of him. Ugh. Hate him. Alright. You know what? Flower pot. Squash. Double up. Yeah. Get destroyed, nerd. Okay. Uh, more kernel pulse. Since I have the sun, jeez. Uh, let's use pumpkin there. I think I'm more than prepared for the oncoming onslaught, which is awesome. If the bungee jumpers, were, if the bungee zombies are small, smart, they'd put them down over here. There's a hidden chimney. That's where the zombies will go down if they make it through through your house, through your roof. Which makes sense. It's kind of funny. All right. Oh, oh, get wrecked. Get wrecked, nerd. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Oh, oh, you, you see that pencil on your head? Makes you look like a nerd? Oh, now you look like even more of a nerd with butter on your head. Oh, uh, get destroyed. Get destroyed. 
<laughs> I guess they can be helpful in a sense, because if they put a ladder down and um, uh, you don't want a specific zombie to die, it won't. It'll, it'll never die because the zombies will just keep climbing over the ladder and avoiding that plant entirely. That's basically what they do whenever there's a ladder. Um, let's use more kernel bolts because I am sadistic. And this is really funny. Just watching zombies getting pelted with butter. Ah, uh, oh, get destroyed, nerds. Get destroyed. Oh, 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 Colonel Pult. Oh, I forgot how good you were. Like, it's been a while since I played roof levels, and, like, wow. I gotta say wow again. Heck yeah, Colonel Pults. More Colonel Pults, dude. Heck yeah. Getting more sun, more Colonel Pults, more chances to kill things. My favorite. Say goodbye to all these zombies, jeez. And we're almost up the all-out attack. In fact, are we now? Indeed. I'm gonna leave those two guys in the back. Why not? Uh, put a pumpkin here. All right, be prepared for it. Uh, he's not there. They're only dropping in zombies, huh? That's peculiar. It usually never happens. Can y'all throw a butter at him? Thank you. <laughs> I was like, please. I don't want this pumpkin to die. Pumpkins take about as much as, like, I think a walnut. So they're pretty good. Maybe a little less than a walnut in hindsight, but whatever. You know what? More kernel pulse. This entire last wave is going to be set up with kernel pulse, because I love them. And these guys are dunzo. Super dunzo. Let's see what I get. You get the coffee bean. What is the coffee bean good for? Where are you going to find out? Now, plant it on a mushroom to wake it up. But you'll see it next time on Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. Thank you all so very much for watching. Hope you're buying walrus, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.